ஓகே ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபியர் வெல்கம் டு பார்ட் செவன்டீன் ஆஃப் கிராஷ் கோஸ் ஆர்பி ஜெல்லி ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆன் லேன் அபவுட் சப் ஃபைல்ஸ் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் கப்பல் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் வி ஆர் பீன் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் டிஸ்பிளே ஃபைல்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ சப் ஃபைல் இஸ் ஆல்சோ எ டிஸ்பிளே ஃபைல் பட் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் ஃபார் டிஸ்பிளேயிங் மோர் தென் ஒன் டேட்டா Uh, in the data portion okay so what i mean is like uh, display fill is actually a static record okay we can just write uh, a single screen okay but if you want to have a multiple data say for example right so the screen which you are seeing it seeing here is actually a sub file okay how i am telling because if you go page up or page down right okay you can see only this portion is getting changed okay so if i go like this okay page down you can see only this portion is getting changed okay the remaining portions are static okay so how to create this kind of file okay so this is called the sub file basically a yeah, sub file consists of two things okay one is a control section uh, another is actually a data section okay uh, control sections are the one which are static say for example this heading this options okay those stuffs but data portion is actually the one which will be dynamically changed when you like uh, go page up page down those stuff okay so today uh, we're going to see a basic sub file okay so in sub file we have different varieties okay load all sub file elastic sub file extended sub file three major uh, versions so maybe we'll see one by one later but in this video we'll exactly understand how the sub file works and what is needed uh, to create a simple sub file okay so let us quickly st- get started i'm going to create first the sub file then we'll go to the rpg ld so f6 uh, sf01 d okay dspf so it's a, it's a display file basically as i said okay but how it will be created as a sub file that we are going to see sub 01d 17 okay as usual here i am giving s uh, ctl enter okay here instead of record you need to give sub file okay sub file stands for sub file if you give enter it will ask you for control record so okay it's good practice maybe i'll go to f12 i change this to data okay and enter i give a ctl because it is asking for a control record so i am giving a ctl for easy reference okay so as i said there is a data portion there is a control portion okay enter now what will happen enter enter okay so it will create two records basically one record is actually a control portion another record is actually the data portion so as i already said control portion is actually a static content but data portion is actually our uh, multi data is going to come inside it so there is a relation here actually which says this control uh, is controlling this particular s data so s data is actually a sub file okay so now uh, let's add few things so i'm going to control section 12 as of now you see this as a plain screen okay i'm just adding some uh, static content here read and time and uh, just like uh, sub file control okay f12 okay if you go to sub file data 12 you will still see the control okay because these two are interlinked to each other okay so if you go to data you will still see this but you cannot edit this so the data has to come after the control okay so here can, we can define the data so as of now what i'm going to do i'm going to define my own data which means i'm going to have uh, one uh, output number 666 three digit and i'm going to have another output it's a text so 10 character okay so this is my data portion fine i'm pressing f12 okay if i come to control section also i'll still see the data portion okay good so now how we define other parameters okay let's go to the control section option 8 okay uh, there is a something like okay i'm giving y y y okay this portion i'll come to later indicators next is actually the sub file size and paging okay uh, these two are primary keywords which will define the structure of your sub file okay so as of now you can see sub file page is 1 size is 2 okay it says i can hold maximum of two records but i can display maximum one record in one page so i'm going to change like to something like five so please display five data in one screen and you can hold maximum of 100 okay now i just change these two fields i give enter 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 now if you go to data portion 12 now you see the record is displaying five times okay and if you give a question mark here the field name is f0002 
and this name is FLT001 default names as of now I'm just leaving it uh, because we're just trying to learn stuff. So now you can see you define this field only one time but that field itself populating five times because of the keyword SFL uh, page okay. Uh, so fine so now what is next so I'm pressing F12 and going to control section again and this time I'm going to the first one general keywords. So these are some special keywords uh, which are again controlling the sub file okay. Uh, it, uh, these are indicator based keywords okay. So SFL display is actually for displaying the subfile, SFL display control is actually for displaying the control section of the uh, subfile and there are initialization uh, delete subfile so, stuffs but uh, clear and end is actually uh, some of the man mandatory fields. So I'm going to use the same indicator for easy reference so I give 50, 50 here okay and uh, this also I say 50 okay and SFL end also I say uh, 50 and clear I say n50. The advantage of this is actually at any point of time clear and a SFL display cannot be the same okay because if you want to clear the subfile we, sh we should switch on this clear indicator and then write the control portion it will clear the subfile okay. So in this case either you can have a separate uh, indicator like 51 or 52 whatever you want and you can switch on that indicator for clearing the subfile but for the easy reference I am having the same 50 just that if I switch off this 50 indicator this N50 will be automatically switched on okay and we can clear the subfile okay so this is the stuff we want and then I want a more keyword yes so that is it for the subfile uh, design and uh, configurations let us quickly compile and check if this works okay it is compiled now we are going to write the RPGLE F6 SF01R RPGLE so as usual first time uh, defining SF01D F4 uh, it is a CF and then external format and workstation. So till now you are familiar with this uh, uh, thing because uh, we give the same thing for display file as well but now we are going to give additional uh, keyword uh, because of the sub file so that call S file okay. It takes two parameters. First parameter is actually our data portion. So we give yes data as our data portion colon. It will take a variable name. Okay, as of now I'm giving RRN. It's a usual practice to give something like this. Uh, what is this RRN? So this RRN should be a variable declared in your program. So I'm declaring that variable RRN. It will be just like a standalone variable uh, with the size of four s yes, zero. Okay. Now what it means is actually this variable is kind of associated with the subfile data okay so in order for the program to display the subfile it has to know how many data it's it, it is having okay for that it will directly refer this particular variable and whatever the number containing this rrn uh, that means that many record should be there in your subfile okay uh, if you are not writing this rrn uh, and then writing the subfile it will throw an error or if you have the data in your subfile data but this rrn is not there then also it will throw an error okay fine so now we have we can continue our normal coding normal coding yeah free and free and inside inlr equal to one okay so generally is yes, for um, displaying the subfile we need to do three operations okay first we should clear the subfile second we have to load the data third we need to display the subfile okay so let me write it first is clear SFL and then load SFL and then display SFL okay there are three things first how to clear simple so as I said we should switch on the clear indicator and then write the control record okay so you remember star in five zero equal to star off so when I switch off this indicator automatically n50 negative 50 will be switched on okay then I am just doing a write sctl so sctl is actually our control record uh, control format okay then rrn equal to 0 I am initializing the rrn and then that is it so I need to switch back n050 equal to 0 on okay so this is actually the 
clearing clearing uh, subfile clearing clearing coding okay then we should load the data so as of now for simplicity purpose i am just telling uh, rrn equal to 1 i am loading the first record fld001 equal to 1 it is one of the field fld002 equal to hello it's a string and then i am writing this into the subfile data okay and then I am writing another record, copying this whole stuff, pasting it here, and then saying RRN equal to 2, field 2. Here I say hello again. Okay, now we should display the subfile. Display subfile is very simple. We are going to say exfmt yes, ctl. Okay, now you remember uh, one for clearing and displaying, we are using sctl, but for writing, we are using s data. Okay, you remember that thing. So now let's compile and check this box 14 call okay so we got the result so what we see is actually this is a control portion this is a data portion we have loaded two data so that's what displays here you can see there is a um, space limit because okay we define this as a 10 character but we assigned more than 10 character that's okay leave it so now okay you can ask me what big is this okay how, uh, what is the big thing we have done here uh, before that right in a normal display file we made everything as a single uh, record and then we have just designed in the way we want but now it's actually a sub file which means this particular portion which is the data portion can change dynamically okay so we're gonna see that uh, with a pretty much a different example now i'm going inside instead of the static content what i'm going to do i'm going to have another variable called i same for a zero no problem so in the load subfile routine, okay, instead of this, delete, delete. So I'm gonna say something like for i equal to 1 to 20 and for inside rrn equal to i. Okay, every time the i value changes, I'm assigning to rrn. And then fld001 equal to i. I'm assigning the same i value to the field 1 also. Uh, fld 002 equal to uh, I'm going to say something like a name okay plus character of i just to differentiate and then I'm writing the s subfile data okay now let's see what happens file put in call so now you see the more indicator came and it displaying only five records because we gave subfile page as five and then if you go page down 10 6 to 10 11 to 15 and then 16 to 20 then it changes to bottom okay so this is the basic subfile okay which is like displaying the set of records which we have assigned okay this can be actually related to a load all subfile because we are just loading all the record uh, and then we are displaying it okay and uh, yeah so the main thing to understand here actually how the subfile is related to the RBGLE, okay, which means um, when how the data portion and control portion we are using it in the program, okay, and how the RRN uh, we are assigning it, how we are incrementing the RRN for each record, those things are important, okay. Now we are seeing only the positive scenario here, which means the actual real world scenario would be taking the PF data and then displaying it through the subfile. And then when we take the data from PF, it is not necessary that always we will have the data. So sometimes we will not be having the data. So at the, at the time, how to handle this subfield data portion. So those things I will explain in my next video. Uh, maybe what I can do is actually here I can give a link in the description for one of my previous video which I have made for load all subfile. Okay, so um, you can watch that for more information. So I'll be ending the video here. Uh, in my next next videos, uh, we'll see the one by one subfiles uh, with the example and then understand the concept. And then finally, after we complete all the three kind of subfiles, we'll move on to the project stuff. So I hope this helps and then gives you an understanding of what is the basic subfile looks like. Uh, hope this helps. Looking forward to the next set of videos. Thanks for watching.